This is the demonstration video for the Deck Horizon O2i. We're preparing two machines. This is the first machine of two. I'm going to do a walk around, show you the outside, and then we're going to pause the video and prepare it for production so we can show it to you running. The covers on this machine are in excellent condition. I've said this before in other videos, it's not always the case with these ducks uh, because the covers are not metal. So We see oftentimes they get damaged. These look really good. That's the external solvent tank mounted in its proper position. We'll get a quick shot of the serial tag. Now I have the safety covers off of these openings here. The machine will ship with the safety covers in place. We just did that so we can get a look inside the machine while it's running. Specifically to show the stinger option running. Okay, we'll get a picture of the software here. This is 09 Service Pack 13. You can see the serial numbers listed which shows that the dongle is correct and everything is matching. This is their instinctive software that has touchscreen control. Part of what we do when we go through the machines is we make sure the touchscreen is functional. If not, it's replaced and repaired. Okay, we're gonna open the cover, show you the inside. This machine has the Cyclone cleaning system with vacuum. That's what the tube is for there. The Cyclone is the gold colored. This is the gold colored cleaner. It's the one that oscillates if you so choose to help scrub uh, the bottom of the stencil. This machine is also fitted with the gold gridlock option. It's the high, high density pins. You can see how, how many pins there are. There's two modules installed in the machine, just because my board only requires two. There will be a third module that will ship with the machine in case you're running bigger boards. This is the gridlock manifold. This is the stinger option. Uh, the auger has been cleaned and checked. There's a new needle on it. We're running what's called purge compound. It's basically pink Vaseline. Uh, we do that because it allows us to demonstrate the, the dispensing function, but it won't cure in the auger. So when it comes to you, all you'll have to do is purge out my purge compound and you'll be ready for production. All right, we're going to pause this video just for a moment. One more comment. These are blades that we're going to come with this particular machine. These are a universal holder. It allows you to install shorter and or longer blades in there. These are currently 12 inch blades, but you can see it goes up to probably about 17 inches or so. so little less expensive than buying separate holders for longer blades or shorter blades. Okay, we're going to pause this video, uh, prepare it for production, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, the machine is prepared for production. We're going to run it with the cover open so you can see it operating. This is our SMEMA test box. Uh, this machine has the foreign machine interface, so the, this will show the SMEMA function working. These are our test boards. I'm going to jump around here a little bit, try and show you everything. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, put a board on the rail, give it a SMEMA signal, show the fiducial capture, the stencil. Let's get a shot of the stinger. So after it's done printing, So there's the stinger coming down. With the stinger, uh, we decided to put down some exaggerated dots just so you could see them easily in the video. Um, this is the red material I'd mentioned earlier, the purge compound. You can see the 
that profile is very nice it's fully it's an auger style dispenser so these dots are uh, nearly infinitely adjustable and then you can also change needles if necessary okay I'm gonna run another one this time we will show the switch to the stencil here machine's been calibrated so you can see all the pads line up Let's see if we can see that stinger running again This dot here is on a fiducial. I just used that for calibrating the, uh, when I calibrated the system, because the Stinger has its own calibration. Okay, we're gonna run one more, so we can show the, uh, so we can show the cleaner working. There's the stencil. machine has closed loop pressure control that's also been calibrated there's the cleaning function that's the oscillator that's going on my wet stroke and then now the vacuum will turn on you can hear it spooling up. That's the vacuum stroke. And now it's waiting for another board. That is the demonstration video of the Horizon O2i. Again, if there's any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call and ask. Thank you.